Damn, another one. Official reports have came out from the autopsy that Rich Homie Kwan had died of an accidental overdose of fentanyl, promethazine, and codeine. So he was basically juiced up. Drugs are becoming a real problem in hip hop besides just gun violence. Unfortunately, these rappers also died from overdosing themselves. Juice World. This was an accident and basically happened on the spot. Juice World was always public about his drug use and detailed how much and how often he used to take them. He has said he first started doing lean because he was influenced on his favorite artist, Future. Slowly he would get deeper into it and was started to do perks, codeine among other things and everyone around him knew about his usage. When he did the song with NBA Youngboy Savage, that's when you could really see the results. Meaning he had gained a lot of weight from the medications and also the lean belly. Because everyone who takes lean always has that gut because of all the food backup. Juice World was on a private flight headed back to Chicago and the pilot alerted the authorities of suspicious activity. The feds ended up finding guns, over 70 pounds of weed, and 6 bottles of codeine. I'm sure the pilot smelled a strong odor of weed cause over 70 pounds, man, that's hard to hide the smell. When they got to the airport, the feds were already waiting for Juice World and the crew. Upon searching the private plane, Juice World started to have a seizure and they had to call the paramedics quick. They tried to revive him on the scene but he was unconscious and taken to the hospital where he was officially pronounced dead. One of his friends on the plane said that he had took a bunch of pills to try to hide them from the feds upon searching them, which resulted in all the mixed drugs in the system and he took way more than he needed to. But the thing is, they were already going to find the 70 pounds, so getting caught with the pills wasn't going to be the major offense, but he was panicking in the moment and freaking out and not thinking because he was already under the influence. Man, very talented kid man, gone too soon. 6th, 7th grade, I was hooping playing baseball I was good at both at the time but I was also like freestyling and I was really into music like I used to damn near worship this shit like I was into music so much so my family putting me on to all this different music future Gucci all these niggas talking about drugs bro. you can't help but ignore how fun or how interesting at least they're making Zans and lean and all the shit sound yeah bro like when I heard future the first song I ever heard by future was ain't no way around it the second song I've <coughs> ever heard by future is um Dirty Sprite, like for off the first Dirty Sprite mixtape. Mm -hmm. And that shit had me wanting to sip lean at like 11, 12 years old, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I ain't know if that was what I was really finna be doing, but. Mac Miller. Yo, he was a dope rapper, especially freestyling off the top of the dome, very similar to Juice World. But Mac had died back in 2018 from fentanyl lace pills, where he was found in his Los Angeles home unconscious. Three men were arrested and found guilty in connection of his death. One of the men, Walter, had supplied the fake oxycodone pills to his friend Revis, and Revis had gave the pills to their other boy, Petit. Walter has said he told Revis to give the pills to Petit because he thought Petit wanted it for himself, but didn't know that Petit had made other plans to sell them to Mac Miller. And instead of giving Mac the real oxycodone, he gave them the fake pills instead. And two days later, Mac was deceased from an accidental overdose. Sounds like both of them are lying, cause why would you give your boy fake pills if you thought he wanted it for himself? And then somewhere along the line there was some type of switcheroo. I don't know yo. But one of the guys, Revis, has been sentenced to more than 10 years. And Walter has been sentenced to more than 17 and a half years. And I couldn't find info on a third guy, but y'all let me know. Very unfortunate as Mac Miller has been very public about his usage and eventually wanted to stop, but it was just too late. In this clip, Mac is saying how he hates being sober and French Montana is warning him about it, saying it's just too strong and to listen to him. At one point, weed didn't relax me from everything. It made me more paranoid about all the shit happening, right? So like, I needed to get a drug that was a little more numbing, if you will, and less like, in your head. So yeah, that's. I think that's really what sparked me doing other drugs, is because I hate being sober. I wanted a drug to do. Nah, this is too much though. This, like, this is the pure. No, 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 no. Not that I'm, saying, I'm saying that's how it cares. Oh, you're not listening to me. <laughs> No, I know this it's is not. <laughs> this is not even the one that you think is it. Yeah. This is the one that is. That's it. That's really yeah. it. What? More than active. Listen to me. I'm your brother. <laughs> this right here. 
I'll taste it. I'll let you know. You're gonna miss a couple of shows. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> this is perfect. It's <laughs> what? I'd rather be the corny white rapper than the drugged out mess who can't even get out of his house. Overdosing is just not cool. There's no legendary romance. You don't go down in history because you overdosed. DMX, one of the most unique to ever touch the mic but just couldn't escape his demons. He said he had first tried crack at the age of 14. Because of his mentor, he looked up to, laced the blunt with it, and gave it to him without him knowing. Throughout the years, he would have so many running with the laws, it was on and off the drugs, as he struggled to get sober, but just couldn't get it right. He even checked himself into rehab several times. On April 2016, DMX had died of cocaine-induced heart attack that caused lack of blood circulation to his brain. Coolio died on September 2022 at his friend's home and was ruled an accidental overdose from fentanyl, heroin, and amphetamine. He was 59 years old. Gangsta Boo. She was 43 and had died on January 2023 from an accidental overdose on Fenty, Coke, and alcohol. Pimp C. There's been so many theories to his death, but ultimately it was an overdose on cough syrup, aka lean. He was very open about doing it, as that's the culture down there in Texas. Everything's slow, just like the lean effects. Some say he was poisoned in a hotel, or it was Illuminati. But nah, it was the lean because another Houston legend, DJ Screw, had died of the same thing. Lean overdose. ASAP Yams, overdose. Old Dirty Bastard, overdose. It's like, man, why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Like Stephen A says, stay off the weed. I say, stay off the drugs. It's a big epidemic in music and with the young generation. Cause when you have your favorite artist rapping and singing about doing drugs all day, it's like a chant being sung in your head all day. And eventually, you want to take action to it. But just like Juice World said, he started doing it because of his favorite artist. Future rapped about it. And Future says he don't even do drugs like that. <laughs> Which is a lie. But it is what it is. This is where we're at, folks. Anyway, stay safe, man. Hit the like button on the way out. Thank you for watching the video. Appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.